Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. So for this video, I'm going to be working on another Strawbler tumbler which has the storage space in the base of the cup for the straw and I'm going to make a glitter zipper tumbler. Um, I've already cleaned my cup, sanded it and washed it with Dawn dish liquid and I've got it taped off where I want the uh, different colors. Um, my main color is going to be this black kind of medium chunky glitter mixed with this holographic silver and uh, the reason why I mixed it is this black is really pretty but once you put uh, the resin over it kind of loses its sparkle and you can see that holographic silver with the reds and the blues and the greens in there so I think it will make a really nice um, color for the um, majority of the tumbler so I've already did a black matte spray paint uh, on the tumbler and I've added two coats of Eileen's Tacket over and over and I'm going to be using the Tacket method. Um, I used a one-to-one -one ratio with Tacket and water and put the first coat on, let it kind of get clear and then added my second coat making sure that it was very smooth and now I'm ready to add the uh, mixed glitter here I'm just going to sprinkle it onto the cup and get a really good coating all the way around and I'm not really going to rub it into the um, tacket I am going to once I get it completely covered, um, go around and just kind of press it down into the tacket. And then I'm going to spray it with um, some clear matte sealer and then come back and do another layer of the glitter. And here I'm just pressing it down into the tacket to make sure that this first layer gets really really down onto the cup and then the second layer will fill in any uh, gaps that might have been left uh, left by the the um, pressing it down so here I am adding another layer of the tacket you can see you just smooth it on there and make sure that you have no lines I did speed this up but um, and it does look like it's all white but um, it won't once I get the um, next layer of glitter on there and here I'm going to add the top layer of the glitter and I'm not going to press this one down I'm going to let it set for a um, couple hours and then spray it again with some matte spray paint or spray sealer I should say and I'm using the Kralon so I'll put the description of everything I use down in the description box of this video you can really see how that silver holographic makes that really sparkle and I really really like that so while that is uh, kind of setting in I am going to just trim down the zipper removing as much of the fabric away from the metal part of the zipper as I can and it's not really hard to do just want to make sure I don't have any little pieces of thread hanging out and then I taped off the edges around where I want to add this uh, hot pink glitter this is also from bulk glitters 
And again, I'm using the Eileen's Tacket over and over um, one to one ratio. And I'm just going to make sure that I get it all mixed up really good. I want kind of not really a thin layer because I don't want this to run over or under my tape. So I want to make sure that it's just kind of a medium consistency. And I'm just going to slowly basically paint it onto the cup with the brush and then I'll come back and smooth it. Make sure that I don't have any lines. Um, if you have lines with the Tacket method, if you don't get it real smooth, it could show up in your glitter. So I want to make sure that I don't have any lines showing and I want to make sure that I get it right up next to the edge of that tape so that it will meet the um, black glitter that's already on the cup. And I'm going one direction to make sure I get a smooth uniform look to it. And then I'm just going to carefully add the pink glitter. And I turn it upside down so the glitter would not fall onto the black. And now I'm ready to remove the tape. And I'm going kind of slow because I don't want to pull any of the black or the pink glitter away from the surface of the tumbler. Got a little spot here, just making sure that it's not on the black. The zipper will hide anything that I might um, not have exactly straight. And now I'm doing this uh, a little bit different. Normally I just turn my uh, turner on and start rubbing the um, resin into the onto the cup, but I don't want to take a chance and maybe contaminate the black with the pink or the pink with the black. So I'm doing very slowly one little section at a time and I only mixed up um, 15 mils of the resin and I'm using fro rizzle one to one ratio and uh, this first layer of resin will not be a complete coverage of the glitter. It's just going to basically uh, get that glitter in place so that it doesn't move when I add my next layer. So I'm just making sure that it's got a good covering over the black and then I come back with um, after I cleaned my gloves and I'm very carefully doing the same thing with the pink making sure that I'm only rubbing it onto the pink section. Clean my gloves again and then I'm adding the rest of the resin that I had. I'm going to heat this up with my torch, let it turn for um, six hours, and then I'm going to come back and add another layer. And here it is after the second layer is on there. Um, I did not worry about on the second layer about doing it. I just uh, separately, I did it just as I would normally uh, resin a cup on a turner. And I'm going to use this diamond glaze to secure the zipper to the surface of the tumbler. Um, I like using the diamond glaze because uh, it dries quickly. And if it's not, uh, if a little bit gets out from underneath there, it dries very clear. So when I put my next layer of resin, it's not going to show up as white or, or um, uh, a different color that my, or it might discolor my cup any. So I'm getting it on here 
And then once I get it in place, I'm going to use some black electrical tape and I'm just going to tape it down to hold it in place while it dries, which it doesn't take very long, but I did let this set overnight just to be on the safe side. And anywhere that I see that it might be lifted away from the tumbler, that's where I'm putting the tape. Especially around where the, the little zipper handle is at, because that's kind of thicker than the rest of it. Okay, so it's set overnight. And now I'm removing the electrical tape. And I'm going to put my next layer of resin on there. I'm also going to put a piece of black electrical tape over the, the little zipper tab so that resin doesn't get on it. Because I want the zipper tab to actually move, you know, be loose. This is just the first part of this um, tumbler. And again, I'm doing this in sections like I did the first time because I don't want to completely cover up my zipper. I want the resin to uh, go up to each side of the zipper, but I want the metal to show without it being underneath resin. So I'm just basically moving it all around. I also did a light sanding on this before I um, put this layer of resin on because uh, I want to make sure the rim of the cup and the base of the cup was smooth and if there was any areas where there was a little bit of glitter still poking through the resin I wanted to smooth it off before I um, added this next layer of resin. So I'm just getting it right up to the zipper itself without going on top of the zipper. Making sure that um, I get the outside where I cut the material away because I don't want there to be any little strands uh, sticking out. Making sure the top is covered and right up under the edges of the zipper. And then I'm going to add some heat and then let this turn and cure. And that sparkle is amazing. And here it is. I've got it to this point now. Um, my next step, what I'd like to do is I want to add something to the zipper tab itself, some kind of little um, design. And um, I don't know if I'll put a decal on it. Um, I may just wait and see if somebody wants their name on it. And. Um, and it is so cool. The sparkle, you can see that holographic shining through the black and then the pink. It's just, it's so cool. I love it. And this tumbler is amazing too. I love these straw blur tumblers. See, you can see right here how close it is. I don't see any strands of material. The back of it is all nice and sparkly. And this is the, with the brush and where this, I've taken the bottom off so you can see where the straw goes. It just folds up nice and neatly in there. It's just a really kind of cool cup. I really, really like these. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video thus far, and if you have, please click like and share, 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that now and ring that bell and you'll get notified when I upload future videos, including when I add any little specialty things to this one. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And I just want to thank you for joining me on this little adventure. And I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye for now.